everyone, I'm Danny702 and welcome back to the Animal Kingdom here at Walt Disney World. Really no major plans today for this park. I just haven't been here in about four or five months. It has been a couple of minutes since we've been here. My favorite ride is in there. I just really wanted to get on Everest today. I also saw a few snacks online that looked really, really tasty. So let's go, let's just hang out, let's have some fun. I was also really curious about the crowd level. I keep seeing videos and things online saying that the crowd levels are very, very slim to none, but it is Labor Day weekend. Eddie, you haven't been here in a really long time as well, probably even longer than I have. Yeah. This is one of my favorite parks to come and just like chill, you know? Yeah. You got your camera so you can take pictures of animals. Yeah. Is there any ride that you really want to get on today? Um, let's see, probably Expedition Everest. That's or, a good uh, one. The safari. Oh I'm thinking maybe a drink, maybe a snack. Let's just chill. Some snacks. <laughs> Walking in towards the Tree of Life and the crowds aren't looking too bad. Originally we had plans to go to Hollywood Studios, but at the last second I changed our reservations to Animal Kingdom. I think that was a good move. A place here at Animal Kingdom that I have always wanted to come to but have never been is the Nomad Lounge. So we just put our names in. They said it's going to take about an hour, so they're going to text us whenever a table is ready. Here's a quick look at the menu. So they have adult drinks and also a few small plates. Yeah, I just heard so many good things about it and hopefully we'll be able to get in here today. We just walked down a path that said it was the Tree of Life Garden and I don't think I've ever gone up this way. I have never been so close to the Tree of Life before. This is really cool. We get like a way better look at all of the animals that are carved in the tree. Like this really cute little bird here. Oh, I love that. <laughs> wow, take a look. Oh my gosh. This is rad. <laughs> I have never been so close to all the details. Oh my God. Oh, look at that snake. That is so cool. Whoa. Look at the details in this ant. Seeing this from afar, you of course spot a few animals, but seeing it up close, I just didn't know how many animals are in here. The, and the detail is incredible. Look at this. This whole part of the tree is a shark. <laughs> very, shark. very cool. Yeah. There's maybe a rhino. The snake might be one of my favorites up there. And the ant. The ant is so detailed. Oh, there's a ape right next to the ant. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a tiger head. And it's crazy because we're only seeing one side of the tree. All of the animals wrap all around the tree. I'm sure every time you come, you can spot something different. Well, that didn't take very long at all. About 15 minutes or so and our table is ready. I'm glad we didn't go very far or get in any lines or anything. The Nomad Lounge is left to the Tree of Life next to a restaurant called Tiffin's, which I've also heard so much about. The food definitely smells really good over here. Feeling like a VIP over here. Look at this whole couch we get to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, they do have some specials available. So I'm seeing beef sliders, pork ribs, a charcuterie board. There's also a lobster mac and cheese. And then this is their regular menu, which you do the QR code and pull it up on your phone. There's kind of a lot more than we saw outside. A lot more than I expected. The drinks sound so good. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time deciding which one I want. Jen's tattoo with kettle one, watermelon, hibiscus, lime juice. We are both looking at this one called High Tower Rocks. And there was one that just sounds really, really amazing that I might end up getting over here. Le Leaping Lizard, Malibu Pineapple Rum, whatever Kachaka is, guess Kachaka, I don't know. Uh, then it has orange passion and mango juices. Oh, oh, there they go. Goofy. <laughs> The Nomad Lounge has the outside and an inside, and the outside sits alongside the river. And once in a while, you can catch a glimpse of the cavalcades, the river cavalcades. Here comes Mickey and Minnie and Pluto. Hello! <laughs> Holy free holies. They should call this the heaping lizard instead of the leaping lizard. Look how big this is! Oh man. Okay, I'm kind of hoping that it's more juice than anything because that is humongous. And what did you end up getting? Oh, you got the like watermelon tequila. Yeah. Yum. High tower or something. Dang, look at this. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta have more juice in mine, which I'm totally okay with. Oh wow, they look so refreshing. Look how good like the presentation is. Cheers. <laughs> Oh. Yours 
good? It's strong. Oh, that's bomb. I know. Go back. Um, you want to switch? <laughs> Dang. That's refreshing. Refreshing is the proper word. Yeah. I always want what Eddie gets, though. Like, always. I think it's just in my head. I always want what you get. Great. <laughs> Eddie's drink is fantastic. I would get his next time. My drink is good, but his drink is bomb. It's like the perfect blend of like, it's a little sweet, but then it's like super refreshing, and then the, um, the is really good. Tequila. The tequila is good, yeah. yeah. And the watermelon combo, perfect drink. What was yours called? Uh, it's called, it's called the High Tower Rock. High Tower Rock. Yeah, it's got... Let's see, tequila, watermelon, sweet and sour, and lime juice. It's got like a little watermelon lid. That's the one to get if you guys come to the No Land Island. Alright, our food has arrived. Now I ordered the chicken nomad bowl. It does look really good. It is a little bit of a small plate, but I have a feeling this is gonna fill me up. Yeah, I think probably. it's a good portion for me. And then you got what's on this special. So this is the smoked pork ribs with sweet soy glaze and apple jicama slaw. Yeah, I almost got those, but at the last second we switched. <laughs> I bet I'll like these more though, because I always want what you got. <laughs> it does look really good. It's got the kimchi slaw. Yeah. Kimchi, some mushrooms. Oh yeah. And like whatever these are. Like yeah, I don't know, crispy. some kind of crunchy something. Yeah. And whatever this is. Very smoky flavor to the ribs. Very good though. Oh man. I feel like I haven't had like real meat in a long time, so I've been on this like chicken fish kind of thing lately. Ooh man. That's good. <laughs> right off the boat. Oh wow. It just slid right off. Slid right off. I didn't get it because I thought it was gonna be messy. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to bite of the chicken bowl. Get a little bit of rice, a little bit of mushroom, a little bit of chicken on this. A little bit of whatever that crunchy stuff is too. The flavors are very different. Like I'm not used to any of these flavors at all, but they complement each other really well. It's, it's really good. Spicy? Spicy? I mean, kimchi is supposed to be spicy. I didn't think it was spicy. A little bit. But it's like different. Like I really can't pinpoint what the flavor is, but it's good. I think I really like the mushroom the most. <laughs> Go big or go home, right? Oh, that's what they say. That's what they say. We ended up getting the churros because I, this is what I've heard so much about. I've heard that this is like the best place to get churros. I mean, churros are pretty fabulous all throughout all of Walt Disney World. It's a Disney thing. But it does come with a side of two different sauces. So there is a vanilla sauce and then a strawberry chili sauce. So she said it has a little bit of a kick to it. The bomb. This is really good. We got, a, we got a bomb sauce. It does have a little kick at the end, <laughs> but it's really good. The kick is like super surprising. Like you can immediately taste a strawberry jam, but oh, yeah. then there's like this weird kick like that just surprises you at the end. Vanilla. Oh my god, these are really, really good. <laughs> Get you, huh? Yeah, these might be the best rows I've ever had. Crunchy, butt sauce, enough sugar, enough cinnamon. These dipping sauces, I think, really makes it too, though. I don't know which one I like more, the strawberry or the vanilla. Both equally good. Yeah, basically, we can order those watermelon margaritas and churros all day. All day? All day. All day. Everything we had was really good. My drink was really good. It's definitely strong, but I mean, it was $15, so at least it was worth the price. I'm actually having Eddie drink most of it. <laughs> He's taking it for the team. What did you think? The watermelon um, drink was good. Yeah. And churros were point and amazing. Yes. The food was like pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't bad. But the atmosphere and the vibe was yeah. really good. I would eat here again for sure. We come here again. I think next time I'll come here, I'll just get the watermelon and the churros. Two watermelon margaritas and the churros. Maybe two order of the churros, too. Alright, it is officially time to head into Africa and go on a safari. I believe I saw it was only a 25 minute wait today. 
Well, the app said 25 minutes, but the sign here says five minutes. Hey everyone, my name is Lizzie. I'll be your safari guide through today's adventure at the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. As we approach the reserve, I'd like to remind everyone, please keep your hands, arms, legs, feet inside the vehicle at all times. Can I just see the black rhinoceros? That's a big boy. Wow. The black rhinoceros is the smallest rhinoceros here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, weighing the in at about five to three thousand pounds. Whoa. Oh. It's not a baby cast. You know what? Oh no, my gosh! Um, oh, there's two. <laughs> oh, fun. Anyway, girl hippopotamus weighs about 5,500 pounds. And if you were to measure now, crocodile from tip of its tail to tip of its nose, it would be about the same length as a giraffe is tall, which can be anywhere from 16 to 18 feet. In fact, one of the largest Nile crocodiles on record is a little over 18 feet. Speaking of giraffe, though, we're headed into the African savanna. The animals here. As we pull down into the African savanna, if you see any animals that you find familiar, feel free to shout them out. I'm seeing some wildebeest as well as some Hartman's Mountain Zebra. Usually every time I come over here to see the dogs, they're all in the little they cave right here. Sometimes. Sleeping. They will greet each member of their pack before Never they seen turn them their out in Probably because it's a lot cooler at range so just a moment ago. So the weather is perfect right now for these animals. Oh, but look at that. How cool. Those horns can grow to be about six feet long. And while they look very heavy, they're actually hollow. Those horns are filled with a honeycomb like structure. Plus, they stand about 18 feet tall. They do spend the majority of their day eating. In fact, they only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. I know. They eat for 14 hours a day. Wow. And in fact, that 30 minutes that they sleep isn't 30 minutes all at once. That's <laughs> this 30 minutes is spread so throughout cute. the day. Now, those African elephants have ears in the shape of the African continent. That makes it pretty easy to identify them. You also have mandrill off to your left hand side. This is here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, weighing in at 5,000 pounds. They can run at speeds of 35 miles per hour and can sustain that speed for about a minute. Unfortunately, they did. Oh, there we go. Lions on a rock formation called a kopi. Dang. Once again, reminding everyone to please keep your hands, arms, legs, feet inside the vehicle at all times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Over in Harambe is Zuri's Sweet Shop. And this is where they had a couple of sweets that I had my eye on. I really don't think I'm gonna get it just because we spent a decent amount of money at the Nomad Lounge. But I at least wanted to show you guys. They have a whole churro line right now. There's the churro cupcake. There is a marshmallow wand. This one here, the Mickey Mouse. I also noticed that they do have some of the Halloween seasonal treats over here. Churro cookie is the one that I really, really, really wanted. It's of course, I'm all churroed out from what we got at Nomad Lounge. But this gourmet caramel apple is also looking intensely good. So the caramel apple also has tahini sprinkled all over it. And this little like shot guy is chamoy. That sounds amazing. For $10.99 though, I mean, I do get a little bit of a discount with the annual pass, but I think I'm gonna pass. Next time I'm here though, if this is still here, oh my God. Oh yeah, it is time. It is Everest time, Yeti time. Are you Yeti for this?
Because when we got on the ride, the trap was broken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, right? today's adventure here at Animal Kingdom. It ended up being such a great day. I'm so glad we finally got to go into the Nomad Lounge because the drinks there were fantastic. The churros were amazing. The crowds ended up being low and the weather turned out pretty good here today on Labor Day. Now stay tuned because we do have a lot of plans. This weekend we are doing something new, something maybe spooky. So make sure to subscribe. Until next time guys, thanks so much for watching and I love you. Peace.